Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you a video review of the Dell XPS 15Z laptop. In the past few months, we've reviewed two systems from Dell's premier XPS line, the 15 and the 17. Both laptops got great scores from us, but unfortunately one of the biggest detractors was the massive bulk of the systems. The Dell XPS 15Z vastly improves on this situation by reducing the size of the laptop, thereby allowing the design aesthetic to really shine through. The system that we reviewed was powered by an Intel Core i5-2410M dual-core processor running at 2.3GHz with 6GB of DDR3 RAM, which can be boosted up to 2.9GHz with Turbo. It was supported by an NVIDIA GeForce GT 525M graphics card with Optimus technology, which helped display content on the 15.6-inch LED LCD screen with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 it also came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM, as well as a slot-loaded DVD burner. Other specs include a 720p HD webcam, Bluetooth 3.0 and full Wi-Fi support, and the system is Wi-Di ready. What clearly stands out about the 15Z are the design aesthetics. The machine is a visually attractive system, one that's clearly sleeker and more visually striking than that of the 15 and the 17, especially since it's only 0.97 inches at its thickest point. The slimmer design enhances the differences between the larger systems in the XPS line, but the anodized aluminum case with its chrome trim, intricately patterned exhaust vents and speakers, backlit keyboard, and solid hinge construction makes it stand out even further. Technology fans have been picking up on the trend towards incredibly sleek and possibly thin laptops that's been driven by the MacBook Air. While the 15Z doesn't look as phenomenal as the MacBook Air, it's still a beautiful looking machine. More than just the visual appeal of the system, the 15Z definitely packs a lot of processing power where it counts. We found that the system didn't have any problem with any of the tests we threw at it. Whether we were running multiple browsers, watching numerous video files, or manipulating loads of raw images, we didn't run into any significant problems, and most apps ran very smoothly. While rendering times and processor and RAM heavy apps were slower than the i7 powered 15 and 17, that was to be expected. Plus, sometimes it would have some odd graphical artifacting issues, but these were pretty uncommon problems that didn't really hamper the user experience. As far as gaming was concerned, the system was pretty solid. While again, much less powerful than the i7 GT550 systems we tested with the XPS 15 and 17 a few months ago, the 15Z can still pull off some solid gameplay for a number of titles on the market. But reducing the resolution of the game typically resulted in a pretty solid boost for titles. We'd recommend 720p for most games, and experimenting with the frame rates at the full HD settings to see exactly how the performance goes. Fortunately, the screen for the 15Z is great, which is clearly anchored by the 1920x1080 resolution. Everything shown on the screen is incredibly crisp thanks to the full HD, and the colors and angles of the LCD screen from the tops and sides are solid. We could easily gather a group of people around and watch a movie on the system without worrying about color shifting or issues. We also found that the screen was bright enough to be used at less than 50% during regular day-to-day -day functions. If we pumped the brightness up to 100%, we found that the 15Z could be used in full daylight. However, be aware that while the glossy screen saturates colors and makes pictures vibrant, it can also create a ton of reflections. Finally, we really liked all the connections for the system. The laptop has just as many connections as the larger XPS systems, meaning it packed two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports, as well as an eSATA USB 2.0 combo port, gigabit ethernet port, and built-in 9-in-1 card reader. It also came with both a mini display port and HDMI 1.4 output as its external video options. If you need to hook something up to the 15Z, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever with all of the options presented to you. With its strengths, we managed to come up with three specific weaknesses that kept this from being the perfect system. The first issue related to the heat and the noise. We found the system fan was incredibly noisy and unbelievably distracting, more so than some of the other XPS systems. It also seemed to turn on with virtually every single task. Watching videos, playing games, or anything more than the basic functions essentially triggered the fan. We also found that the laptop got very warm. We weren't surprised to feel the heat emanating from the bottom, but it was strange to detect heat through the palm rest and the keyboard. We could only expect that this is one of the trade-offs for the compact size of the 15Z. Another trade-off with the 15Z is the non-existent upgrade options. 
Dell doesn't provide any options for Blu-ray drives, upgraded graphics cards, or Core i7 quad-core CPU upgrades. We know not everyone will want to throw down the extra cash for some of these items, but it really feels like a waste of the system's aesthetics to have a full HD screen without the option to run even one Blu-ray disc on the laptop. We're also pretty sure that some of the little quibbles we had with the rendering and the gaming performance would have been eliminated if there was an option to upgrade to a Core i7. The last issue we had was the decision to seal the battery within the frame. Clearly, Dell wanted to keep the thickness of the system at a minimum by placing the battery inside the chassis, but it prevents the option of larger cell batteries or the option to swap batteries if the system runs low on power. Since it doesn't have the best battery life, it's a bit of an annoyance. We frequently squeeze close to two and a half hours out of the machine, which was pretty light. The Dell XPS 15Z is another system in the XPS franchise that's visually striking and technically powerful. It may have a few issues, like the fact that it can run noisier and hotter than other laptops, it isn't upgradable, and some of your visually intensive programs and games may run a little bit slower on the system than others. But for a system this small, this stylish, and this well designed, it's easier to find a lot more to like than to loathe with the laptop. For these reasons, we decided to give the Dell XPS 15Z a 4 out of 5. So we gave away the two previously reviewed XPS systems to two very lucky winners. How would you like to be the winner of the third? That's right, we're giving away this XPS 15Z to one lucky winner. And all you have to do is follow these simple rules. Go to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash tech bargains and follow these five simple steps. Step one, subscribe to the channel. Step two, sign up for email alerts so that you find out whenever we post the latest video review, unboxing, or app review. Step three, add it to your favorites. Step four, like the video, and finally, step five, make a comment in the comment thread. The contest will run over the next few weeks and we'll have the exact date for when the contest expires and the details below. Now, even if you're not chosen to win the XPS 15Z, you could still come out with a prize for yourself. When we choose the winner of the laptop, we'll ask them exactly how they found out about the giveaway. And if they mention your name, you'll win a $100 American Express gift card. Good luck to everybody that enters, and make sure you come back to our channel for the latest reviews, unboxings, and app reviews. And for the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Dell XPS 15Z, be sure to check out techbargains.com.